It is mailbag time here on Chicago Bears Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. Appreciate everybody for submitting in their question. If you super chat, you can jump the line. Otherwise, use hashtag Bears, and we'll get to those as well. Alex Hernandez, if Josh Gordon doesn't make the Chiefs roster, could that be a good signing for the Bears? Possibly. Um, I keep an eye on the Chiefs as well, as many of you guys know, and he just doesn't look that good. I mean, you guys saw him in the preseason game, got targeted three times, no catches, couldn't keep that second foot in bounds on that sideline catch where Matt Eberflus successfully challenged, which, by the way, go Flus on that one. Um, sure, if you want to bring him in and he can be a rotation receiver, fine. Uh, Ryan Poles knows him a little bit from uh, last year in Kansas City, I would imagine, but if you think he's going to be some big-time playmaker for you, I just I don't view that uh, being the case here. Nicholas Rishi, do you think Jenkins will play more tackle or guard in Thursday's game? Oh, guard. He's going to play more guard. In fact, he might play exclusively guard. Matt Eberflus says they want to get him an extended look there at that right guard position. So I'm excited for that. And I think that's fair because they've moved him around so much already. I think for the next two preseason games, the next couple weeks of practice, I think you say, all right, Tevin, I know we've moved you a lot. We're not eliminating you from playing tackle at some point in the future. But right now, your best chance is to start at right guard. That's where we're going to play you. And if he's like, cool, I'm in, that's what you do. Well, let's see what he can do at that right guard spot. And I ideally, he can push Michael Schofield and maybe even beat him out. Who knows? Graham O'Leary, will Roquan be back? For what? For week one? For or just to this team in general? Um... If you're asking for week one, I, I, I think there's a good chance he's going to play. But, um, you know, obviously there's still some stuff to work through there. Uh, Graham, uh, could he get traded? Yeah, I'd say that's still at least somewhat of a possibility. But at the end of the day, it's still uh, somewhat uh, unknown at this point. Emilio Delion, does Roquan traveling with the team mean anything significant? It's a good question, Emilio. Um, and on Tuesday, Eberflus did announce that Roquan would be traveling to Seattle uh, with the Bears, which continues to show that, you know, he's being a good teammate. He's in the building. He's somewhat involved. And Eberflus said, look, he has been engaged. He, he has stayed engaged. Obviously, he hasn't been practicing, uh, but he has been engaged, which means he's, you know, involved. He's talking to the other linebackers, other players on the defense, coaching staff. Uh, so that's a positive. Could that mean a resolution is upon us, an extension, or at least an understanding of, hey, uh, I still want a new deal, but I'm going to return to practice soon and get ready to go for the season because I am under contract if you are Roquan? Maybe. Uh, I'd like to see that be the case because uh, – uh, I think if he shows some goodwill, the Bears could show some goodwill also. Will Roquan Smith play for the Bears in week one? Type Y for yes, type in for no. Still plenty of time between the opener, between now and the opener against the San Francisco 49ers. But cast your votes, Y for yes or in for no. Welke with the super chat. Why don't the Bears sign a vet receiver, Will Fuller, uh, T.Y. Hilton, Cole Beasley, or anyone else? I think they're just rolling with what they got right now, uh, Welke. Um, I mean, that's really the only explanation I have for you. Um, I, I don't know how else to answer it. I mean, I, I would consider bringing in one or two of those guys, but they seem content with what they currently have uh, on this football team. Jamie Nichols, who is your favorite current Bears player besides Justin Fields? Um... I really like – there's a few guys I really like. Uh, I, I'm a big Darnell Mooney fan. He's probably number one right now. Roquan's still up there, regardless of how this thing is played out. Obviously, he's fantastic, great leader for this team, especially the defense. Um, Jalen Johnson, I'm a big fan of his. Uh, but I think it could be Jaquan Brisker very soon. He's definitely my favorite rookie. So those are a few guys. Love David Montgomery. I, I worry that he's not going to be here long term, so I don't want to get too attached there. But, uh, yeah, those are four or five guys that I just ripped off for you. Edward Messina, do you believe Jack Sanborn can make a push to the starting lineup if he continues to flourish? I don't see why not, because outside of Roquan Smith, it's not like you have world beaters there. Nick Morrow has, has shown the most in his career after Roquan, but he's been pretty quiet in training camp, to be frank. Um, you know, Matt Adams has mostly been a special teams player in his career. He's trying to, you know, carve out a bigger role for himself, but he's just been kind of okay. Joe Thomas, career journeyman, he's a decent player, but I don't see why Sanborn can't at least 
challenge to be a starter on this defense. Pat Rick, can we get anything for Tevin Jenkins? Because he looked god-awful in that preseason game. Bro was getting beat by third stringer. Did get beat once or twice. Uh, he also had a couple of pancakes too, though. Um, maybe that's why they're moving him to guard. Maybe, you know, uh, with his back history, he's not as mobile to, like, beat those speed rushers outside. Maybe right guard's a better spot for him. He's a very powerful player. Uh, he, he plays with a lot of power. So uh, we'll see. As far as trading him, we've kind of been over this. It's going to be a day three pick if you trade Tevin Jenkins. So that's why it's honestly better to keep him and hope that he works out. Be sure to subscribe to Bears Now on Colin. It's 100% free. Audio social podcasting app, very similar to Twitter Spaces. We go live every Tuesday after our YouTube and Rumble streams. We're also going to go live after games for post-game shows. Your chance to call in and weigh in after every single game. Chatsports.com slash Bears Colin. That link is in the comments and in the description. Also, you can download the Colin app on iOS or Android. So search up uh, Colin. It's spelled right there, C-A-L-L-I-N. And go ahead and download the app. All right, uh, JC is up next, uh, or Jace, Jay Capone, I should say. How many INTs do you think for Brisker and Gordon will have next game? Well, I don't know how long each guy's going to play. I actually don't think Brisker will play a ton, a uh, couple of series at most. Um, uh, chances are zero between the two because I don't think either is going to play a crazy amount. Gordon should play a little more if he's fully ready to go. Uh, but probably zero at most one, but uh, again, they're not – playing four quarters, so that shouldn't be surprising. Got another super chat from BTH. Can this defense be top 15? I like the secondary. Yeah, I think so. Um, if Roquan comes back and plays at linebacker, you don't really have a weakness. Beyond him at linebacker, it's a little weak there, but he can cover up for some of those weaknesses. Defensive tackle, there's question marks, but the edge rushers, I think you get your four deep now all of a sudden, if not more, with uh, Robert Quinn, Travis Gibson, al Muhammad, Muhammad, and Dominique Robinson. He looked pretty good. And uh, Mario Edwards is going to come off the edge some too. So I think your, your edge unit's pretty good. Secondary should be solid with Brisker and Gordon joining in the fold there with Jalen Johnson, Eddie Jackson, and, you know, we'll see who that third corner is. But, yeah, I think, I think this defense can be top 15. Caden Gunvaldson, who is your favorite bear of all time? Well, I didn't watch him, uh, but, you know, Walter Payton's tough to beat in, for, for my money. But guys I did watch, Brian Erlacher, uh, Devin Hester, those are the two that come to mind uh, right away there. Uh, another just personal fan favorite would be Matt Forte. Um, but if I just pick one guy, I'd probably go Hester because I think the kickoff and punt return for a touchdown is the most exciting play in football, and he was the best of all time at doing that. Absolutely electric. It's a joke. It's a farce. It's a disgrace that he was not a first ballot Hall of Famer. Uh, to be frank, which is why I did not watch the Hall of Fame ceremony uh, whenever that was a couple weekends ago. So, uh, yeah, I'd probably have to go Hester. Clint Wilson, with all the leverage they have, I believe the Bears organization and Roquan Smith will come to terms on a contract agreement by week one. Um, I, I tend to think that's very much a possibility. I think that uh, very well could happen, and I hope you're right, Clint, because I think that's best for everyone involved. I think if you trade Roquan, you're not going to get full value, and chances are, even if you get a first-round pick, uh, that player would not turn into Roquan. Uh, so I think keeping him and signing him is probably the best scenario for, for everyone, including Roquan, by the way. He wants to be here, and the Bears – are going to give him, I think, a pretty good deal. So uh, I hope you're right, Clint. I hope you're right. Tyler Eddington, uh, Antonio Brown, I know the drama, but maybe a serious weapon. Hell no. Did y'all see his recent tweet? He said his only regret in, in his NFL career was that he didn't get to watch himself play. Uh, he also compared himself to uh, the Beatles and Jesus in that post. Uh, I don't know what your religion is. Uh, we're not going to talk religion here, but um, quite quite a post. Uh, I, he's just not worth it, man. I'm sorry. I mean, when the Bucks are cutting you and they're trying to win Super Bowls with Tom Brady, that, that kind of tells it all to me. All right, fill in the blank. The Bears will win blank games this year. 17-game schedule. Is it going to be 0, 10, 17, 8, 4, 6, 9, 4, 8, 5? How many games are they going to win? Fill in the blank. Bears will win blank games this year. Derek Armstrong, Bears trading for another receiver, or are they okay with their receivers in-house? Um, 
I don't think they'll trade for another one unless it's like a conditional pick situation uh, for a guy like Jalen Rager or, um, you know, Preston Williams from Miami. Uh, I don't see that happening unless they trade. A, a scenario that's you know could exist is like Roquan to Seattle for Tyler Lockett in a pick, but I, I unless that's the case, it's a player-for-player player trade, I don't think Ryan Poles wants to be shelving out draft picks. Andres, 39-year-old Jay Cutler comes out of retirement, throws for 5,000 yards, brings a Lombardi to Chicago. No chance. <laughs> it's not going to happen, guys. Not going to happen. Do you love smoking Jay, though? C Caden Gunvaldson, do you believe Roquan deserves to be paid more than Fred Warner? Do I think he deserves to be paid? Here, it's a tricky one because when guys reset the market, did they deserve to be paid more than Fred Warner? Did Kyler Murray deserve to be paid more than Patrick Mahomes on an annual basis? Of course not, but that's kind of how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is kind of how it goes uh, when these guys reset. If if Fred Warner is making 19.3 and Roquan makes 20, is that some just ridiculous outcome? I don't think so. I just don't think that's the case. So uh, maybe he's not quite the player Warner is, although I think it's pretty damn close. Um, but... Uh, it's in the ballpark, and this is how it goes. If you're in that tier, you typically reset the market. Dennis Henman, trade Roquan for Chris Olave in a second. Oh, man, that's interesting. Maybe I'd consider that. Olave hasn't played at all, but I did like him coming out. So I'd have to think more about that, uh, Dennis. Uh, but that is an interesting idea between uh, the Saints and the Bears. All right, roll call time. If you made it to the end of our mailbag, type FGB. The real ones know what to do. So spam FGB in the chat if you are a real one because we all hate the Packers here. Get the FGBs flowing.